pick up 13 up here right now. What are you about to do? I'm about to open my gifts pretty soon. After what are we having for dinner? You're going to have your stingy lutefisk. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have sardines. <laughs> then you're going to make the lutefisk. No, first we're going to go to church. Then we come home. You make a lutefisk. And then you eat. And then we open our gifts. Take a picture of your bread machine. Let, let me hold it. Give it to me. Go pick it up. It's like a baby. It's a little R2 D2. Mm -hmm. We're going to bake bread, make, make it bread. smell pretty we'll in the house. We'll never buy bread again, we can help it. Make it smell homey in the house. This won't have any preservatives either. This is really something else here. Good morning, Mrs. Pearson. I'm feeling fine, thank you. How was the eggnog? Real good. Was there enough brandy in the eggnog? I think so. I you want some more eggnog? No, thank you. I, think I had a little bit too much there. Did Dad have brandy in there already? Then he put some in. 
I have, yeah, the first one, but when I poured some from the eggnog, that eggnog. No, there's none in there then. What did the eggnog make you? Dipsy. 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 Is that daddy? Because I don't drink? Yeah, that's all. That's all. Do you want some more, Aignan? No, no, thank you. Oh, you might want to put me to sleep so I can open our gifts tonight? There won't be many. There won't be none of mine there. <laughs> That's all right. I just have one or there two. There won't be no gifts tonight. Oh, it's exciting watching the others. No, there won't be many for others either. Let me put another Who's one. Who's this? It's yours. No, no. That's yours. I drank. I washed my glass off. Oh, that's mine. The way that is going to make it, I'm going to, here's some shoes. I'm not making it any different than you. Yes, you are. You're so many and I don't. I don't put nothing in there. Well, that's up I to you. I put a little salt and that's it. No, oh, that, that's up to you. That's not why yours uh, crumble up to bits. Oh, I see. Frank and Shirley, they said every other year they go to the Whites for Christmas. So they're, they're, they're being together quite a bit, Frank. It's hard, Mommy. <laughs> that shows on the picture, Daddy. That shows on the camera here. Speaking to you from the home of the Pearsons in La Palma in 8052, Louise Lane. We came here because of kind of the Christmas display that they have on the front. It's the best we have could 
find in La Palma and it's a beautiful display. As you can see over on that side there where the camera is showing now is the twinkling lights. They twinkle and then as you approach towards the window they stay at the same oh, what am I trying to say? They're beautiful. That's all I'm trying to say. Very. And then the, if you notice she, she'll face towards the window and she'll see the Christmas tree inside. Okay, this is how to make lutefisk. We used to do this when I was a little child and we were raised on this on Christmas Eve. Every Christmas Eve we had lutefisk. And to prepare it, all you have to do is have a boiling pot of water, put a little onion, piece of onion in there, a little bay leaf, and a teaspoon of sugar. And a little half a teaspoon of salt. Then you come over here, and here is the food of fish, what it looks like. It looks like this. Now this is about two pounds. There's only two in this household that eats this. I'll have you try to guess who it is. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I have to rinse it off first because it has had lye, lye in it. So I come over here, and I rinse it off a little bit with cold water. Go like this. Rinse the lot off. Put it there. This will be. Keep rinsing it so that it lies all off. Then I have a cheesecloth here. I already prepared it ahead of time. And I stake the little fish in here. Now, actually, this uh, cheesecloth should be a little wider, but I'm going to try to do it this way if I possibly can. You put it in like this, you fold here, and you fold it up, but it's supposed to be so it stays in there. And what I'll have to do, another one. I believe, is take another cheesecloth if I can get over. I got it up here. Of course, it's going to take a little more time now for the camera. You can stop for a commercial if you wish. But I thought since it's going to be on television, I thought I better do it this year. So this got to be tied together in the knots because it's got to stay in there instead of going all over the pot. So I'm going to try to do this and I'm going to tie here. Little knot here. You'll have to bear with me. It would be best that you stop for a commercial right now until I'm ready to put this in the pot. I'll probably never get this back apart again. I'll probably you cut it over the pear in the cheesecloth. I believe before I said cheesecake, I said cheesecloth and it's tied in a knot. Hopefully it don't come apart. Then I put this in here and I put it up to high, boiling. It's going to boil. Then as it boils, it's ready to boil. I've been preparing it to boil. It's ready to boil. So instead of dropping it in like that, I'm going to go like this. I put it in like this. And that's going to be on here for about 15 minutes, usually six, seven minutes a, a pound. And now we're going to leave it here for 15 minutes and then we'll start taking it out. Until then, let's have a commercial. 